What is your boy Big Chips? Listen, today on this video challenge, we are going to be talking more about going back old school. You know, I found somebody who was looking to get started. I said, make a list. And they were like, that's stupid, it don't work. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and why you should make a list and what it's for. You know, when you're prospecting, it doesn't matter whether you do it online, offline, you know, social media or whatever. The point is to make a list of people, you know. Whether you use that list to actually sell to those people or whatever, the point is to make a list. So today, think about it. Uh, you know, follow what GoPro says. You know, basically that's where I learned a lot of stuff between them, him, uh, Eric Corey, Jim Rohn, Tony Robbins, Mark Overson. I mean, we have some phenomenal expert leaders out there. Uh, if you're into sales, look up Greg Gomez, the third. He is, Double G3 is phenomenal. You know, another top-notch guy. And, uh, you know, but it, it all goes back down to it. Make a list, you know. Make a list of people that you know. Doesn't matter who they are. Just make a list. Write down every single name that comes to mind. Write down every single person that just crosses your thoughts and write it down. You know, so that'd be step one. You know, and as you, as you get into this, you'll start, you know, thinking about people who know people and whatever. And that goes into step two. And that's the, think about people who are friends of those people that you know. You know, I think Eric talks about the uh, six steps, uh, six uh, degrees of separation. You know, so use that as a, as a bit too. Think about the six degrees of separation of people who know who you know. You know, in that second degree. So you think of your brother or your cousin or your aunt or your uncle. And then you get down to the fact that who do they know? Who do you know that knows them? And, that, you know, you're writing them down. That's it. It's all about writing people down. You are clearing your headspace of people that you know of so that you can actually go out and find more people. You know, because everybody says, I can't find anybody to talk to, but there's so many people out there. It's unbelievable. You know, but it's, it's all about making that, what does he call it, the ACL, active contact list. And this is people that you just continually add people to. You know, if you go to the store and meet somebody, find somebody, grab a card, write down their information, try to get in contact with them. You know, it's all about building that rapport, getting to know them. Don't go for a sale. Don't, don't be sleazy or anything like that. Don't go for that sale right out the gate. Just talk to them. Get to know them. Then at the right time, you can share what you do or they'll ask you what you do. You know, and that's a good thing about what we're doing, especially when you do it right. People want to know what you're doing. Well, how in God's green earth are you doing that? You know, how does that happen? How does that work? So, you know, that's the that's the process. You know, so build a list. Make sure that you're adding to it consecutively. Continually bring people onto your list down the road. And continually, just continue adding to it. Once your headspace is cleared of everybody that you know, then it actually allows you to stretch even further, to think of even more people that you can add to that list. So it's it's a pretty powerful thing. You know, and then you get into follow-ups, you know. So now you've prospect, now you're finding these people, now you've got their information, you're, you're chatting with them, getting to know them. So what do you do next? Then you gotta follow up. You gotta figure out, what is the right thing to say? When is the right time to say it? You know, once you've said it, then follow up with them. Make sure that they remember what is going on and what's not going on and go from there. You know, it's it's all about continuing the process and continually to build and to find new people. That's the, that's the joy of network marketing. There's an endless supply of people. Find two new people per day, just two, you know? And you go 300, just 300 days a year. You've already got over, you got 600 people. You go to the full 365, think about those numbers. You know, and imagine if you did more than two people a day. And again, it's just adding people, that's it. Prospecting is just finding people. 
it's not selling them, it's not closing them, it's not going for the, the money, it's prospecting, finding people to talk to. That's it. That's it. Get, get that out of your headspace that you got to do anything extra. Just really take this time to just find people. Just add people to this list. Look at that list. You don't have, again, you never even have to sell to these people. You may add people, like I've got an aunt that I know is just a waste of my breath, but I got her on my list. Why? Because there may be somebody that knows her that I can talk to. Somebody may come to mind that I could use later on to talk to. So think about it. Think about it. You know, don't ever stop adding to your list and don't be afraid to add your mama, your brother, your cousin, your sister, your nephew, your aunt, your uncle, your pastor, your bishop, whatever. Don't, don't be afraid to add them. It doesn't mean you have to talk to them or you have to sell them. You're just getting these people out of your headspace. That's it. All right? So there's your, uh, there's your tip for prospecting today on an offline, online realm. And again, Facebook's the same thing. Add their name. Add their name. All right? So it's your boy, Big Chips. Businesschips.com and the Diamond Dream Team. I will see each and every one of you on the other side. Make it a great day. I dare you.